Okay, so basically, <clears throat> after the sixth trumpet is finished, he sees an angel uh, clothed in a rainbow and stuff like that. And then he says something that he's told he must leave out. And then he gives him a little, tells him to go to the shore and eat a little book, and he puts it in his mouth, right? Uh, sweet in the mouth and bitter in the stomach. It's basically like a trip. So then we come to eleven, and and here's his trip. So it's like a, it's like a dream within a dream. And then he talks about the, the two witnesses. And then we get to something a bit interesting down the bottom here. The uh, second woe is past, the third woe cometh quickly, and the seventh angel sounded. And I think maybe this is what everyone's waiting for, the seventh woe. Well, I think that'll be in 2033, so... Uh, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged that thou should givest reward to, unto thy servants, the prophets, and the saints, and to them which fear thy name, small and great, and thou shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. So if God is going to destroy them who destroy the earth, surely God isn't going to destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, there was in, in his temple the ark of his testament, there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and earthquakes and great hail as there are quite a lot and then two is when we get to the woman clothed uh, with the sun and the moon under her feet which I did cover so that's the bit I missed out it was basically a trip so no problem <laughs>